Born Juliet Gordon in Civil War Savannah, Georgia, the founder of the world's largest voluntary organization of young women, at last discovered an outlet for her restless energy. A Moment in Time with Dan Roberts. Juliet's father was a wealthy Savannah cotton broker who left his young bride in 1861 to fight for the Confederacy. Her mother grew up in a pioneer Chicago home and was torn by those conflicting loyalties that beset so many families during that time. Two of her brothers died fighting for the Union and she entertained General Sherman after his famous march to the sea. It is said that little Juliet, now known as Daisy, sat on the General's lap during his visit. In 1886, she married William Lowe, son of a wealthy British cotton merchant. Their troubled and unhappy marriage lasted until his death left her a wealthy widow with great resources and boundless energy, but little direction. In 1911, she met Sir Robert Baden-Powell, hero of the Boer War and founder of the Boy Scouts. In this fascinating man and the movement he started, Daisy Lowe found her cause. After assisting with Baden-Powell's female group called Girl Guides, she returned to Savannah in 1912. On the first night home, she called a cousin and declared she wanted to discuss something for all the girls of Savannah and all America and all the world. In contrast to Baden-Powell's dictate that girls should be only taught homemaking and mothercraft, Daisy's first troop organized March 12th 1912, at an old Savannah tennis court, was taught camping and outdoor skills as well. Renamed Girl Scouts in 1913, the organization had a national headquarters in Washington, D.C., and over 40,000 participants by 1920. Juliet Lowe died in 1927 and was buried wearing the full uniform of the first and best Girl Scout. At the University of Richmond, I'm Dan Roberts.